Good afternoon and welcome to another version of To Your Health. Today we have a very special guest, Connie Rose. And she has a business called Connie Rose Knows. And Connie, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, thank you, Rick, for having me on the show. I really appreciate it. A uh, little bit about me. Well, I am happily married. I've been married for 20 years this June 13th to my cutie patootie husband. I'm originally from Los Angeles. I moved up here in 1996 and love it. We'll never, ever leave. I am an entrepreneur, as you mentioned, and my business is Connie Rose Knows, and it's kind of an umbrella of a lot of things that I do. I wear several hats. Um, I am a certified intuitive personal empowerment coach and numerologist and a professional palm and tarot card reader and astrologer. I am also a certified EFT or emotional freedom technique practitioner and a wedding officiant. Is that all? I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm working on a couple other things, trust me. <laughs> what prompted you to start this business? Well, I was completely in my supposed dream life. I was 32 years old, living in Los Angeles, and had the house and the dream car, and I was not happy. I didn't feel good about myself. My marriage wasn't that great, and I was trying to figure out what the heck I'm supposed to do with my life. And that's when I discovered a wonderful book called Dis um, Discover the Life You Were Born to Live by Dan Millman. And it was the first numerology book that I ever read. Yes. And uh, it absolutely opened my eyes and changed my entire life. It was uh, eye-opening and exciting, and it led me to astrology, uh, where I really was able to take a deep dive into how I was wired, what lessons I came <coughs> here to learn, and how I can overcome my supposed weaknesses and turn them into strengths. Wow, can you mention that book again? What yeah, was the name it's of that? Discover the Life You Were Born to Live. That's awesome. Yeah. Don't forget that one, folks. <laughs> it was a great book. And uh, after I did all of that work on myself, I started doing it for friends. And one of my brilliant friends says, wow, you could actually make a living doing this. And I thought, hmm. But it took another few years for me mm -hmm. to make that happen. But yes, I've been in business now for 15 years. That's great. That says a lot about your success. Well, thank you. So tell me about your life coaching packages that you offer. Well, I just started being a life coach in 2010 because I discovered that most people, when they come for a reading, are really looking for guidance. And they're looking for some help in how to make their life work better. And a tarot reading just isn't really going to do all that for them. Mm -hmm. But they don't know what else to ask for. So the life coaching packages that I offer, I utilize the palm reading, the numerology, and the astrology of my clients, and I tailor each course, each six weeks, just to them. We talk about the things that are important to them in their life, what it is that they need to work on, what they want to learn, and that's how we start, just basically um, – you know, where is your sun sign, your moon, your rising, and the north node, which is an incredibly important little piece of the chart that a lot of astrologers don't really hone in on too much, but I have found it to be really important because it's literally your soul's journey in this lifetime. Hmm. And when you understand what your soul's journey is, it's usually something you don't want to do. For instance, I'm supposed to be a leader, and independent and stand on my own two feet. That's literally what mine said. And I was like, well, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that at all. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't sound good at all. But um, over the years, I have obviously blossomed and have made that transition. That's great. But I would have never known it if I hadn't gone through all the work. It's amazing how many people don't know what it is they're supposed to be doing or are afraid to do what they think they're supposed to be doing. It's so true, and what's even more interesting is that we spend a great deal of our life swimming upstream, trying to do things we're really not all that good at. I mean, not everyone is meant to be a scholar or an entrepreneur or a painter. I mean, we all have these wonderful natural gifts, 
And when we embrace them, we can utilize them in multitudes of ways. Yes, sometimes they'll help us make some money, but they'll almost always make us happier. Right, right. I remember when I uh, got injured, I was in practice for 17 years and got injured and lost total use of my left arm. And uh, I couldn't practice anymore, and I went to work for Costco. But when I got used to my left arm again and wanted to go back into chiropractic, everybody was saying, well, who do you want to do that for? you got a job security here. And I said, you're your own security. There's no such thing as job security except with you. And they said, oh, no, no, well, you know, it's not, as you said, it's not for everybody. Not everybody can do their own business. And, uh, and that's just the way it is, and that's fine. They're where they want to be, and you have to go where you got to be. Well, it's very true. Being an entrepreneur is not for the faint of heart. Mm -hmm. There's no real guidebook on <laughs> everything that you really need to do. I mean, I, I had a completely different name for my business at first. I spent a great deal of money on a website that turned out to not be helpful, and and I didn't know where to go to learn any of that back then. But, you know, trial and error, and you figure it out, and... You get into some really awesome networking groups like we have, yeah. and and it really helps because then you meet amazing people like BD Local, you know, right. that really help right. us in our business and help us uh, promote, which is what we need to do. Exactly. Is there one thing that you could tell people who are searching out there for what they think they're looking for to do? Well, that's interesting. I, I just got a client yesterday, a new coaching client, and she had quit her long-term uh, career because the, the job had changed in a way that was not going to serve her anymore. And she's, she's older, and she knows that she doesn't have a lot of work years left, but she wants those work years to mean something. And to, be, and, and to not be um, soul-crushing as her job was. <laughs> And she's looking into actually becoming a, um, a more of a holistic kind of healer. Mm -hmm. And she says, I don't know what that's going to do for me. But when you're looking for, for what you want in your life, the first thing you really need to think about is, and it sounds so simple, but what makes me happy? How do I, how can I be of service? What can I do that will, will make a difference for somebody else? Because when we think about other people, and we put that first, well, we're already going to be on the right path. Right. It can't all be about you all the time. It's just not going to work, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's literally finding ways and finding things that you, that mean something to you. And you might think that what you're good at isn't what somebody needs, but you have no idea until you try. Yes, exactly. That's yeah. great. Great advice. So tell me about your couple readings. <laughs> I have a lot of fun with this. Um, as a matter of <coughs> fact, one of uh, the couples uh, that actually gave me the idea was um, a gentleman that we network with, mm -hmm. Paul Ladane. And he said, you know, I have an idea for a, I want to do a, a date night with my wife. And I think it'd be fun to, to have our readings, we have readings done. And I went, oh, date night. Well, that's kind of a cool idea. <laughs> so it's basically, I, I read each of their poems. I do their numerology uh, independently and then as a couple, and then their astrology independently and as a couple. Mm -hmm. And they literally sit and listen about each other separately and then together. And it's really eye-opening. Um, some, some couples aren't going to have the big romance. Mm -hmm. They kind of know that going in, but they can't quite figure out why. Well, that reading will explain it. And some people, you know, they're, it, it, they make great friends, but eh. or some people are just, oh my goodness, we're meant to be together forever. And it's amazing how these readings explain how they are to each other, how they feel about each other, and how they communicate, which is communication is the most challenging piece of a, of a couple's relationship. I won't argue with that one. <laughs> and when you understand how the other person hears you, it really helps you have empathy and patience. I mean, literally, this saved my marriage. My husband and I um, have not great communication. Um, we love each other very much. We are best friends, but, you know, his patience level with me at times is... And, um, 
it's okay, you know, and I want to explain and go on. And he's like, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Anyway, got that remote in the hand, and let's see, the show is on, you know, and I'm, wow, we're not even done. You know? Oh, I thought we were wrapping it up, you know, no. But what I found out is that's how he is. That's how he communicates with everyone. Everyone needs to give him snippets because that's the amount of time he has to pay attention. And once I knew that, I no longer took it personal. I realized, okay, I'm, I'm overstepping. He's not going to listen to me over it. I'm going to just call my friend. She'll, she'll listen to me. <laughs> and it, but it did. It saved our marriage. I did it about five years in, and we're great now. Great. Yeah. I need to sign up. Yeah. Yeah, I can help you out with that, sir. <laughs> That's great. Anything else you want to impart? Well, you know, the one thing that I love about my work is that I, I give people aha moments about themselves. And I love that. It's like I'm a little investigator. Um, when, I, when I got the name Connie Rose Nose was literally from a client. <laughs> who um, I, I she got a reading from me and I, whatever I told her it turned out to be correct and she's like oh my gosh Connie Rose knows oh that needs to be the name of your business and I was like oh that sounds so arrogant blah and she said no it's memorable and it's true it you is. do know but what I've discovered is is what I really know is how to take help my clients take a deep dive into themselves love themselves, help them get past themselves, so to speak, so they don't get so wound up in what they're not doing, what they're doing wrong. We spend a great deal of our life focusing on what's supposedly wrong with us. And um, that's a time waster and soul crushing. Yes. And it doesn't lend itself to leading a very happy life. Right. And I literally love the idea of helping my clients discover the life they were born to live. And I utilize that title in the book because that's what it did for me. That's great. That's great advice. You know, I've, I've had people say, oh, that stuff is all baloney. And, and you know, it's, it's a guidance. It's not, it's, this isn't gospel. You don't no. have, you know, but this is where you could be if you want to be. Mm -hmm. And it's up to you. All you can do is give them the reading, this is what this says. Yeah. It's up to them to do with it what they need to do. Absolutely. And everybody has a different way of learning and, and applying what they learn. And everyone's a little slower. I mean, some people are slower. Some people are a little quicker on the draw. Mm -hmm. I just think it's better to just know who you are and understand yeah. how you are. It just makes life so much easier. And it gives you empathy for other people. That's great, yeah. So how do people find you and contact you? Well, my website is www.connierosenows, and that is K-N-O-W-S dot com. And my phone number is 253-224-1322. Well, you know, we've learned some really good things uh, this afternoon from Connie. And if you're interested, please give her a call. And look her up on her website. Thank you, Rick. You are welcome. Well, now I want to find out a little bit about you, my friend. So <laughs> I would like to, you to tell us about your background. Well, I come from a medical background. I was uh, an Army medic during Vietnam. I worked in surgery. You named the surgery. I assisted in it, including brain and open heart. I got out of the Army. I was going to go to medical school, and uh, I was working in surgery one day and, and realized that in medicine, what we did was we gave medicine, drugs, if you will. Mm -hmm. If that didn't work, we cut. Mm -hmm. And if that didn't work, we said it's in your head, and we've got to send you to a psychiatrist or psychologist. And I said why aren't we looking at cause instead of symptom? And I got discouraged with medicine, and I was just getting ready to go to Michigan State. I had just opened a medical school and an osteopathic school, and I had applied for those, and I was going to go. Mm -hmm. And I decided I didn't want to do that, so I found out about chiropractic, and I liked what it was about. And so I went to chiropractic college and graduated from that instead. 
And I've been in practice since 1980, okay. off and on. You know, as I said, I had that injury, and it took me a while to heal from that, but I got back into it. And my goal was to help people find the cause of what's causing the problem and take care of the cause rather than just the symptom. Mm -hmm. And over the years, I found there was a a lot of people, a good percentage, maybe 15 or 20 percent, who I wasn't able to help. And I said, what is it that I'm not seeing? And it wasn't just me. They'd been to other chiropractors, surgeons, uh, their family docs, neurologists, physical therapists, massage therapists, and nobody was helping these people with their back pain or their, their neck pain or their neuropathies. And I, I couldn't figure out what what's going on so I kept researching and researching different techniques and I've learned many techniques uh, neurological release which works on the meninges of the the brain and spinal cord I, I, I've learned quantum neurology which works on the uh, cranial nerves as well as the peripheral nerves and I'll describe what those are in a second and then I found out about spinal decompression and that has been a big game changer for a lot of people. And I'm having an 85% success rate with that. Whereas with surgery, it's anywhere from 30 to 50% success. I'm having 85% success rate. And that's where, I'm, where my background is and why I do what I do. Wow, well that is fascinating. I mean, I'm, I'm in love with my chiropractor, I'll tell you. I know how important it is. So you've talked about uh, peripheral neuropathy. So what is that? Well, peripheral neuropathy refers to a condition that results when the nerves that carry the messages from the brain and spinal cord to the rest of the body are damaged or diseased. And the peripheral nerves are the nerves that come off the spinal cord out into the, the rest of the body. And um, they innervate the nerves, the, the, excuse me, the muscles, the skin, and the internal organs. Peripheral nerves are arranged along the lines of the body called dermatomes. And when you get damage to a nerve, it will affect one or more of these dermatomes, which can be uh, tracked to specific areas of the body. Now, damage to these nerves interrupt communication between the brain and other parts of the body and can impair muscle movement, prevent normal sensation in the arms and legs, and cause pain. Wow. Okay, so what causes it? A common cause of peripheral neuropathy, of course, is diabetes. Yeah. Most people with adult-onset diabetes uh, get uh, peripheral neuropathy. And they also have degeneration of their spinal discs uh, that close down the openings where the nerves come out to go to the rest of the body. And this is called stenosis. So stenosis is where the openings where the nerves come out are, are smaller and putting more pressure on the nerves. And then you're not, excuse me, you're not getting the innervation to a, a body part or an organ. And it only takes the weight of a dime. That's not a very heavy piece of equipment. A dime to reduce the innervation from that nerve to a body part by 50%. Oh, my gosh. That's incredible. So you say people with onset, uh, adult onset diabetes get it. Are, is anyone else? People that get infections. It can be caused by infections, and it can be uh, caused by exposure to toxins is another cause of peripheral neuropathy. Wow. So how common is it? Unfortunately, it's very common. Uh, and there are more than 3 million cases every year. And the, the real scary part is that we're now seeing it more common in the generation 19 years of age to 40. That's young are getting this problem used to it used to be that we saw it in people over 50 or 60 now we're seeing it in the younger population and why because of nutrition well that makes sense truly and uh so it's it's very very frustrating 
and what they're getting is they're getting pain. They get the pins and needles sensation, numbness and weakness, and it's uh, it's very frustrating for them. And a lot of people, when it's more advanced, lose their balance because their feet aren't telling the brain where they're at in oh my space. Gosh. I mean, I can't even imagine how scary that would be. Very scary that for a lot just of people. Be awful. So, what kinds of treatments are there? Well, the medical treatments, unfortunately, include antidepressants like amitriptyline, pain medications like oxycodone, which is starting to be less and less thanks to the opioid crisis, anti-seizure medications, and pain-relieving creams. I don't even know how any of that could work. Well, to be honest, it doesn't work real well. Yuck. Okay. Well, what kinds of treatments do you do? Well, what I do are several things, and there's some evidence that exercise helps. So we, along with what I do afterwards, we put them on an exercise program mm -hmm. of light exercise, nothing heavy because that'll just uh, exacerbate the problem, mm -hmm. and we'll get into that in a little bit. But... Um, we want to get to the underlying cause of the problem. So at our clinic, we have a program where we perform a free consultation, an orthopedic and neurological exam, and we also go over with the patient any x-rays or MRIs they may have had done mm -hmm. so that they understand what's going on. If they've had blood work, it's very important to know that and what their blood work is showing. Another thing that we do is called genetic testing. You've heard of 23andMe or um, Ancestry.com. Well, yeah. we have them buy the kit, and they send it in, and about six weeks later, they get the results back. And I take their DNA results, not their ethnicity. I know it, that's nice that they know where their sure. ethnicity is. But we take the DNA part of that and plug it into our software, and that will tell us their genetic deficiencies, and where in the body their problems are. And from that, we can specifically prescribe, not prescribe, but suggest nutritional supplements specifically for that one thing. Because you have all these biochemical reactions going on in the body, and if one area is not working, it doesn't matter if you're taking any vitamins or protein shakes or whatever and people tell me that but I'm taking this and that and nothing's helping it's because what you're taking is not right for what's wrong with your genetic coding we have to get that corrected first so that other parts of those biochemical processes can work there's a process called the Krebs cycle in the body that's your energy cycle that and electron transport those two things, if they're not working, it doesn't matter what you take, it's blocking everything else. Those are the major focus right there for energy production. And everybody says, oh, I'm so tired. There's another one, a genetic, we call it a SNP, single nucleotide. And that is called an ACAT. The ACAT is very important for energy production and what goes on with diabetics. And so we look at that and see if that's off. And if it is, there are certain supplements that we can give them to kick that into gear to work properly. And so that's one of the things that we do at the clinic. Uh, along those lines, we talked about the degeneration of the spine and the discs. I do what's called sp non-surgical spinal decompression. We try to milk the discs. It's not traction. The difference between traction and spinal decompression is with traction you're just pulling in a straight line and the muscles pull back so you're not really milking anything you're just stretching and people buy these uh, machines that you can tip over backwards mm -hmm. and stretch your back out and that might help some minor problems but it's not going to help this because it's traction and all it's doing is pulling muscles and the muscles pull back. With spinal decompression, we have curves in our spine, and each disc is at a certain angle. Well, with spinal decompression, we can 
line that angle up with the machine and all we're doing is pulling at that one angle on that one disc and we're milking it. We pull for a minute, release for a minute. Just like taking a sponge and putting it in water, squeezing it and releasing it, the sponge sucks the water up. That's what we're trying to do the disc, do to the disc is to get it to suck water and nutrients back into it because the discs don't have a blood supply. So we have to motion is what gives them their their nutrients. So if you're all locked up because you got the degeneration and, and arthritis in there, that's a problem. So that's what the spinal decompression is about. And uh, we also do laser. And and laser is, is very, very good for people. Uh, and it's cold laser. There are, there are different types of laser. What they do in surgery is, is more of what we call, if you want to call it, hot laser, where it burns or... or uh, it coagulates things. Uh, but the cold laser is a low-intensity laser, and it stimulates healing. And that's, that's what we use uh, because it has different wavelengths and outputs of, of low-level light. And uh, superficial tissue are commonly treated with wavelengths between 600 and 700, what's called nanometers. Uh, and for deeper penetration, there are wavelengths between 780 and 950 nanometers. You can feel the laser touching you, but you won't feel it doing anything. It's like putting a flashlight to you and you don't feel the light. Same thing with the laser, but believe me, it's penetrating. The laser can penetrate into three inches of oh tissue. Gosh. And it's used for ligament sprains, muscle strains, tendonitis, bursitis, neck pain, low back pain, and pain associated with muscle spasms, and it's also used to help heal tissues from swelling in the joints, arthritis, and autoimmune diseases. Wow, that there, is incredible. Yeah, it, it is, and they've discovered it, it's helping with diabetes uh, wounds as well. Oh my goodness, that's unreal. Another thing that we use is far infrared. Now, far infrared is another type of light, but it's it's on an infrared spectrum rather than what the laser uses, and it's electromagnetic radiation, and it's it's very uh, innocuous. It doesn't hurt you. Uh, it's a gentle heat produced from it, and it it's analgesic, just like aspirin would be an analgesic to reduce pain, and it can help reduce uh, chronic pain and inflammation. And you've had people go in the, to the in, uh, far infrared saunas, mm -hmm. and they feel much better after they've done that. So we use that as well. Uh, those are the types of things that uh, that we've done in the clinic and help people. Well, that's incredible. So how do they contact your clinic to set up a free consultation and exam? I'm glad you asked that. <laughs> okay, because what we do is we offer a free exam, a free consultation, we go over any x-rays or MRIs, and if you qualify for the decompression, we give you two free decompression treatments as well. Wow. And if you need the blood work, if you haven't had blood work done, we can recommend you to the lab to get that done, and most insurances pay for that. If you haven't had an MRI and I feel you need one, I will refer you for that as well. And again, most insurances will cover that. Mm -hmm. And the way to reach us is go to www.tacomadiscenter.com or call us at 253-507-7111. There you have it. Wow, that is a lot of information, and it's fascinating what you do. I just, that is great. That is great. Thank you. Um, it's just been an honor to be a part of this show today. I appreciate everything, and I loved learning what you do, because <laughs> I really didn't know all that. Oh. <laughs> well, so thank I'm you. glad you did learn, and I'm, I'm glad you were able to participate today. Yes, it was it's wonderful. It's great having you. It was wonderful. Thank you so much, Rick. Well, you're welcome.